people's hatred for another truly is their downfall. Their hatred for other people ensures that they lose and that other people win, okay? And whoever I'm picking up on, they have not been able to beat you for whatever reason. They feel the need to try to beat you. So the confirmation, I don't know if y'all heard that alarm, just go off. But because they, they have finally realized that they cannot beat you, beat you up, destroy your life, slander you to death, ruin your good name, make you homeless, broken, poor, and unattractive. They've tried to do it all, okay? They haven't been able to do any of these things that I just mentioned, but they didn't try to do it all, okay? So now that they can't, they realize that they just can't fuck with you, they have decided that they're going to try to cause a death in your family. They already been trying to do that shit. Some sort of spider magic. Okay. And this person is quote unquote religious. Okay. They don't practice the same type of spirituality you practice. And that's part of their problem too with you. But this person don't realize that the type of religion they claim to adhere to, they don't do the type of stuff that this person is doing. Okay? They mixing up religions and shit with spell work. And I know for a fact this particular re religion, that this particular religion, religion don't do nothing rooted in no spell work. Now, I know that for a fact, okay? But this person claims they're of this religion, but they do spell work. So, Holy Spirit, what else do you need to know about this? Please and thank you. What is the additional insight? Been I'm telling you, they had picked up various lines of study in an intent to sacrifice you. But I'm picking up that this person... I don't know nowhere in Islamic religion where it says that if you don't like somebody, try to do spell work on them to kill them, okay? This person is a Muslim, but they have a very dark side to them, and this person do spell work, and this person been trying to use spell work to take somebody out the game, but it ain't work, so now they're trying to do spell work on their family on some for someone that they care about to die to pass away three of cups somebody that they celebrate with this person is trying to cause seven of wands eight of pentacles moon possibly someone that they live with a family member that's what i was picking up they couldn't stop you from celebrating so now they're trying to restrict and cause challenges for a member of your family, possibly even your children, a child. They want them to get sick and possibly pass on now. Because, see, they didn't already try this spell on you, but it didn't work. But whoever I'm picking up on, your children are anointed too. That's what I just heard. And this little plan they got to try to triumph over you and your family, they're going to really get to see who the boss is. And know that God don't play about you. And the Holy Spirit say that's the truth. He don't play about you or your kids. You coming out here as a Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Ace of Cups, baby. Queen of Pentacles, Ten of, Pen Ten of Cups. That's the type of mama you are. That's the type of parent you are. That's how you take care of family and take care of home. Okay? So this, this little scheme that this person who hide behind their religion... Okay, because I'm picking up on it. They hide behind a hijab. That's what I just heard because I'm picking up on it. A hijab or however you say it. This person, the, their congregation, the people that they worship and practice religion with, their religion with, those people don't know that this person do this behind the scenes. That's what I'm hearing now. They, they would be shocked and appalled to know that this 
energy plays around in spell work. But you are divinely covered. You are divinely protected. Okay? This emperor energy is representing the most high God. God is protecting you. The emperor is falling right up under the seven of wands. And this breakthrough she thinks she about to have on your family. This shit crazy right here. Hoes got all the sense. You so hateful and jealous and envious of a woman that you would try to unalive one of her children to cause her pain and sorrow. That's how sad and desolate and broken you are. And I was about to say, God have mercy on your soul. But now, God, please continue to have mercy on the souls of this Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, and her family. You didn't came out here as a Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. Okay? But that's, that's who I'm asking for grace and mercy for. And God already on the job. But God, please continue to cover whoever this mother is and her children. From whoever the hell this Seven of Wands, Eight of Swords, Moon energy is. Can we get more insight on them? Because they really is trying to make somebody children sick. Like deathly ill here. Because they couldn't make them sick. And whoever you are, you are a very good mother. Queen of Pentacles is falling up under the Page of Cups. Ace of Cups is falling right up under the Four of Wands. You take care of your family. You pour a lot of love and energy and support into your children. You have built a solid foundation for your children to thrive off of and go out and do their thing. This person knows that. They've been watching your kids. I'm getting like online and they're trying to stop them. It's the Queen of Wands, a Queen of Wands energy. And I, when I tell you this person, Follows a certain religion. This Queen of Wands is Muslim, y'all. I'm telling y'all, and I ain't saying nothing about Islam at all. I have much respect for Islam, for the religion. I have respect for all religions. I just don't have respect for bitches and hoes who be trying to sit up and act like they perfect, knowing good and well they be behind the scenes trying to destroy people's lives. That's who I don't have. That's who I got a problem with. Okay whoever this queen of wands is because she belongs to that religion. She fiends. She, she might be used to be a fiend and becoming a Muslim slave saved her life. That's what I just heard now. Okay. So she got a, a dark past. She got a dark past. We all got a past, but she got a dark past. And this religion, this organization was supposed to help her get on the straight and narrow. And she appears to have gotten on the straight and narrow to this group, to this, to whoever she worships with, whoever she practice, practices her religion and faith with. But this one, that's, look, but this woman got a dark side. I'm telling you, she got a dark side. Because she's literally trying to plan the MDK of another woman's children because she can't MDK this woman herself. So now she's trying to spiritually, you know you sick. You sick in the head. You got some issues, dog. You got some issues now. And trying to hide behind a religion ain't going to save your soul because God know what's up. Hierophant falling right up under the emperor. You can't hide behind no religion and pretend like God don't see what you really be up to behind the scenes, whoever you are. Because for some reason, I feel like this person is listening. I do. I feel like whoever th whoever this is, this queen of wands, Hierophant energy, who be trying to act like they holier than thou. I'm telling you, this person will wear the whole head covering and all out and about. She really played a role quite well. But in reality, her ass is out here trying to unalive people using spell work. And God see you. Maybe these people you in the, you in this um religion that you practice this religion with don't, but God do. God see how she trying to pre prepare and plan some sort of harrowing exit for this woman's children. 
10 on one. Cause she couldn't do it to her. Child, okay. That, that you you know, you can hide behind that religion if you want to, but that religion ain't gonna be able to save you from what you're doing behind the scenes to this woman and her her children. This magic that you're doing, okay? And it's really given that she got a partner in crime that she be doing this magic with, but that shit didn't take, and he gave up on it, okay? She had somebody that was helping her attack this empress, this mother, at one point. Yes, she did, but shit started fucking up in his life. Then he, his offers were not being accepted from the universe with this four cups, and he started reevaluating and disconnected from her ass and stopped doing what he was doing against this empress. I'm telling you, she been at it now, 1101. She just ain't been able to get with nobody, collaborate with nobody who was strong enough to fuck this mama up, now. Nah? She ain't been able to find nobody who can bring her down. And I'm telling you, the people that she worships with, they do not know that this is her MO. They do not know that. They, they have no idea that this woman has been out here spiritually attacking a divine feminine in her family trying to unalive them, okay? And something is about to be exposed about this Queen of Wands Hierophant energy. Clarify what I'm getting, Holy Spirit. Like, she really found comfort and security in her religion. She felt like it was some sort of barrier or shield protecting her, possibly from other things she did in the past before she joined this religion. And it, it did not do what it needed to do, 1212. It made her feel like she was, like she had more power. Not that she should stop trying to utilize any spiritual power in the way that she was. It's almost like she became a Muslim and started reading the Quran and was like, oh, I'm even more powerful. I can do even more of what I want to. I just need to keep practicing this faith and religion, but I'm telling you, she was reading it wrong, wasn't listening right. She ain't right. That's why, even though she playing a part, even though she acting like she is in alignment with what they believe and feel and how they operate, she's not. She was looking for advice. Is that the more and more I, I channel this person energy, I'm seeing what's really up with them. This person was looking for a religion that they could try to use as a scapegoat, so to speak. 1313, something that they could hide behind, something that they felt like if they locked in with it even more, it would make them stronger spiritually so that they could do these things in the dark that they've been doing to this woman, okay? But in reality, this Queen of Wands Hierophant energy is going to be the one who it will be in the strength, Nine of Swords. She got Leo somewhere prominently in her chart. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Lover's Hermit. Somebody is about to figure out what this woman has been doing to this mother, this chosen one. Somebody has been looking into this Queen of Wands, this sun energy. She about to be exposed, child. I'm trying to tell you. She about to be exposed to this Hierophant community, this religious organization that she belongs to. They are about to find out the truth regarding who she is. Look what was behind the sun and what she really about. And I'm feeling that this King of Wands is who's going to expose her. And I'm also getting something like she met this King of Wands. Either she met this King of Wands when she first joined us. This temple I just heard, religious temple. Or either she had already met him or knew him, but he knew what she was doing when it came to practicing 
this religion here. I'm picking up a lot off this woman, but she really thought she was going to use these people. Yeah, she already knew this King of Wands before she started with this religious practice that she's pretending to adhere to because she's she's doing the exact opposite of the principles of islam okay and that's why i say you know people can play the part all day long but you got to look at their heart you you will be able to pick up on their energy you will be able to truly know if this person is about that life and somebody has been peeping into it's like some a virgo energy has picked up what this sun um, Queen of Wands been doing against this chosen one. Clarify the Six of Cups, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. The Fool. This King of Wands wanted to be innocent. He didn't want to go to hell. I'm telling you right now because I'm looking at all the, the clouds on the card. This man wanted to be free. To fly away up to heaven when it's his time and he wasn't finna go to hell purgatory whatever you want to call it 1616 because of what he was doing against his chosen one who was innocent who had not done anything for this woman this queen of wands leo to be attacking her okay he know that and somebody else know it too i'm telling you a virgo who really is trying to be in hermit energy. Because see, he finna blast this hoe. He finna blast this hoe to the whole congregation. 1444. Whoever you are, you and your kids spiritually protected. I wouldn't worry about a damn thing she trying. Look what came out here. Chariot, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Swords. Because what she's sending to you, that shit finna go back on her. Okay? What she trying to do to you, that shit is finna go back to her. Okay? It's it's already on its way back. That's what I just heard, child. 1717 when I looked up. It's already on the way back. It's already on the way back. And you're you and whatever your family may have felt from what she was sending towards y'all to make you or your children sick. Meaning, you know, trying to unalive y'all ass. Y'all are already renewing and regenerating from whatever this woman sent. And she just sent this shit, like, within the last 24 hours. She didn't try to do something to make somebody's child get sick. But this child is already regenerating and healing. The star is falling up under the sun, child. I'm telling you now. And somebody knows what she did against, tried to do against your children, too. Sun, devil, six of cups. This hermit, no. This hermit is part of this organization. And this hermit is going to start restricting her ass from their ranks. Okay? They know they need that they need to protect themselves from her. He know it. Because, see, everybody ain't going to fall for the okie doke. And like I was picking up in the beginning, a lot of these people really feel like this woman is practicing the religion properly, that she's behaving with high morals and values and ethics. But whoever this hermit is, they done peeped her ass. They done peeped her soul and spirit now. And they know that she's using them as some sort of vice. High priestess, justice. He knows that she's secretly using them as some sort of spiritual vice to enact justice against this woman and her children. He didn't figure that out. He didn't figure out her secrets. You hear me? And it's a he. And see, these people have been trying to bring this woman in as family at their temple. She been They've been trying to help her out even. They've helped her out. I'm telling you, whoever she was before she started practicing Islam... She was on drugs. She was destitute. She was fucked up. She was poor. And I'm really picking up. It was because she was fucking with you. She been on your ass. And her life came crashing down before her as a result of it. So she looked to this organization for help, for charity, 
for support. These people have given her some sort of support financially even. They really welcomed her in as a sister, as somebody who was a part of them. They really felt like this woman was just shooting bad and needed help. And they were in a position to assist her and nurture her and try to teach her. And they, they felt like that was the right thing to do. Okay, they did not turn her away. And she has, this is in a matter of months. These people have helped this woman get back on her feet. And she, eight of wands, I'm trying to tell you, it was a very quick transition. It, her come up came so, she came back up so fast. Okay, with this temple. That she just knew she had some sort of spiritual power and authority. And that's when she decided that she was going to try you again. Now, I'm telling you. With this King of Wands. That was the last time she tried you. But it still didn't work. So now she's trying to use what she feels she has acquired from this group, 2112, to attack your kids. And she should have strayed away from that. Because, see, I think 2121... That's why, that's why this hermit picked up her scent because she sowed these seeds of death and dismay against your children. Okay? It's a nine of pentacles. It's a hermit. It's a feminine. Look how she draped. She covered, she covered herself too. She may not wear a head covering all the time, but that almost looked like it's got a hood on it. I'm telling you. Another woman who helped this Queen of Wands have a new start. She didn't she believed what this woman said that she needed help and she tried to encourage this woman, give her hope and optimism. Keep in mind they think this is just a vagabond, homeless, down on her luck, drug addicted type of woman that they needed to save who was trying to come to God. Who was trying to come to Allah. And they helped her. This Virgo nine of pentacles in particular. But this Virgo has figured out. That she was using them. And that she ain't no good. And that she be doing dark spell work. She done figured it out. She done figured it out now. Outcome. Eight of cups. And she finna send this hoe on her way. She finna send her on her way. She's not going to be able to pull from these people's religion and spirituality to do anything. And she's picked up that that's what this woman has been doing. They're about to withdraw from her. They're about to kick her out of the temple. I don't even know if you can do that, but I'm hearing that you can do that. If who you are worshiping with is not in alignment with the morals and the values and the ethics of your temple, they ask God to get the hell on. Now, that's what I just heard now. Claire, ooh. Thank you for the clarity, Holy Spirit. The world. This cycle of her trying to use them and then pull from them and bring them back karma. Because you know now, that's that residual karma vibe. That's that residual karma vibe. And this, this Nine of Pentacles, Virgo, know it. If we're supporting this Queen of Wands, helping her, we done fed her, clothed her, gave her money, possibly helped her get a place to stay in all. I'm hearing all of this in a matter of months, y'all, from, from anywhere from seven to eight months. These people have, have turned this woman's life around. And she really think that she was going to get over on them, that she was going to do this to you, you and your children, and... Nobody wasn't going to pick up on her true intentions. This King of Wands ain't even telling her. He just let it go because he already saw that his life is going to be fucked up if he kept coming for you and working with her. But this Nine of Pentacles, she's not going to let her, her people go down with this evil ass Queen of Wands, okay? She ain't going to let it happen. Clarify, Holy Spirit, and then we're going to close, y'all. Empress, I'm trying to tell you now. I'm trying to tell you what I'm picking up on. She not finna let this woman attempt to hurt 
this divine feminine and her family using their energy to do it. Seven of Cups. Because she know this woman is up under some sort of delusion about this empress. Whatever this Queen of Wands fixation is regarding this empress, it's a it's a delusion. She something ain't right in her head. Her head is up in the clouds. Okay? Truly up in fucking La La Land. She ain't got good sense. It's something that's nine of pentacles that peep about this Queen of Wands, and she realized that something in the milk ain't clean when it comes to that that brain. Something ain't right. Five of Wands trying to tell you. She know this woman is in the Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands about another woman. If you are truly practicing the religion that this Nine of Pentacles practice, you ain't jealous and envious of no woman. And you gonna go and pray about that thing if that's what's still steeped in your heart. Whatever conflict and illusions you have about whatever, you go and you work that out on the mat. Okay, now that's what I'm hearing. I can't tell you if that's actually correct, but that is what I'm hearing that this Nine of Pentacles has been thinking about this Queen of Wands like her mindset ain't right. Her mind ain't right. Hierophant just tried to come out here because I'm telling you, it, it went back in. They ain't finna... What just flipped over in the dead? Something just flipped over in the dead. Look what flipped over in the dead. Tower. Because she know this woman trying to have this chosen one in the tower. She know it. And they about to kick her out of, out of the temple. I keep hearing that. Like, she ain't gonna be able to come back there no more. And the word gonna be put out about her too. The energy is repeating itself. She want this woman and her family to be in the nine of swords and the three of swords so bad. But that's where she about to be because... A part of this Queen of Wands kept sticking with this temple, with this religion, because she appreciated the foundation, the comfort, the support, all of the things that she received from this group as a result of being a part of their ranks. She appreciates that. She appreciates the security, the solid foundation that this temple has to offer. Hell, they got her back on her feet. Because I'm telling you, she got fucked up when she kept trying to come for you initially on her own. So it's going to hurt her to have to give up all of that Ten of Pentacles security and comfort and support and love and assistance for coming for you and your children. Well, coming for your children now. Because she knew not to come for you. No more. She think your children weak. But if your children are extensions of you, they are divinely protected too. Okay? And she she finna be removed. They finna send her on her way. Just as soon as this spell work she sent hit her, that's when this news that she's no longer a member of this temple is gonna hit her ass as well with this chariot energy. Because she was coming for your children and that's that's terrible. Truly terrible. And any hoe who think it's okay for somebody to attack, attack innocent children because of their jealousy and envy for their mo the mother of those children, you need to be sat down permanently in some way, shape, or form. And, you know, she shouldn't have came over here playing with this temple. That's what I'm going to say now. I'm going to say that. She shouldn't have came at your... At your family, the people that you love and care about, and let this damn um, Virgo pick up on it. She shouldn't have let that, let that happen, because I'm really picking up that this Virgo and them have been praying. This Virgo, I said Virgo and them, so she didn't already told on this Queen of Wands. It's just a matter of time before they pull her in a circle or something, and let her ass know that she can no longer be associated and affiliated with them because they know that her heart ain't right and they know that she been up to no good. But they've already prayed 
against this that this woman has done. This this nine of pentacles is psychic. This nine of pentacles is very intuitive. This nine of pentacles picked up what this queen of wands was doing specifically against this empress and her children. Now I'm telling you, and they have already prayed for healing. They have already prayed that the stars continue to remain aligned in this family's favor, that this action, this energy to be put on their life, be rectified immediately and that their spirits and their souls and their bodies are rejuvenated and healed in the right way. Okay. They've been praying against what this queen of wands has done and it's working because i'm telling you if your child was sick or and like they was coughing or something wasn't right or whatever the hell they already have renewed themselves from that they've already healed from that the process has already started and i've seen this king of wands on the bottom of the deck at least three times since i started with this this deck right here keep getting back on the bottom because whoever this King of Wands is, he was connected to this Queen of Wands and was doing what he was doing with this Queen of Wands because he got some con some sort of connection to this Empress. Clarify, Holy Spirit. And he just been sitting up somewhere. We got Nine of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. He been watching all of this play out. He been watching all this play out too. Look, girl, you got hidden helpers. You got hit 3131. You got hidden helpers now. Because I'm picking up something off this King of Wands like he know you special. I don't know if you and him had any type of connection in the past. But even if he just recently learned about you through this Queen of Wands, he know you special. He know that you need to be protected at all costs as well. It's something like that with him. Clarify. He keep popping back up. Look. Page of Wands. Page of Swords. He been watching you. Maybe you on some type of platform. That's how this Queen of Wands found out about you. I don't know, girl. It just ain't no telling these days. But he's been watching you. And he's been getting optimism from what you do. How you operate. He's been getting encouragement. He's been feeling better. I feel like this man that went from the Ten of Wands to the Nine of Cups. But he realizes that his him getting back on his feet is because he was doing the right thing. He took the right opportunity in life. And that and the right opportunity did not include fucking with you. Okay? It's like he he went from the Ten of Wands to the Nine of Cups in a matter of months. And he sees that. You're special, Queen of Cups, because how did his life immediately turn around once he stopped messing with you? Not me ooh, stop messing with you, meaning he was fucking with you too, not with this Queen of Wands, I'm telling you. He tried to do something against you too to support her efforts. And he didn't realize because his life has immediately turned around once he got away from her. And repented for what he did to you. And I'm telling you, he know you special. He know you special. He know you innocent. And so does this Virgo. And it's it's really given that, you know, they feel like this Queen of Wands need to be sacrificed. If anybody gonna be sacrificed, they feel like she need to be breadcrumb and back down on her knees. In the pole house, begging and fucked up. If anybody need to be that way. And just like he ate a cups her ass and moved on. That's what this um, temple and this Virgo going to do too. But they have been sending some sort of protection towards your children. Okay. Keep picking up on it. Ain't going to get into the details. I'm really picking up on prayer primarily for this Virgo. But this three of wands, king of wands may have done something too. Look, look, look. I'm telling you, that's why his ass keep popping back up. That's why he kept popping back up. He done did something too to protect your children now. To ensure that y'all have peace and harmony. Because he know what this queen of wands had been doing against you. Okay? So I'm going to drop the mic there. I'm going to drop it. I hope you all... Have a good day. I hope that you were able to get insight and clarity from this message. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, 
please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.